Hello! Welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Darby, wee oui, wee. Oui. And I'm Alexis. Oh. I'm so sorry, I cut off your friend. No, 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 honestly, You're that was on me. so goofy. That was on me, I was being too goofy. And I should have warned you, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. My name is Darby. And I'm Alexis B. Bevels. The P today stands <gasps> for Precinct Awards. Darby, we are fresh off Ugh, your loss. nomination. My loss. Your nomination okay. at the Precinct Awards, the very first annual yes. Precinct Awards. We went, we celebrated, we, we had a great time. It was so long, wasn't it? It was really long. Surprisingly. Award shows are long, but you know, we're gonna have to get used to it. Double inter... For, are we gonna be waiters? A shark? No. We're gonna be waiting going to deep concert. in the waters of awards oh, season sure. pretty soon. They've got so many TikTok people on red carpets. There's no reason There's that can't be. There's just a moment. Us. There's just in in one moment we'll be there, and Billie Eilish will hate us. Well, no, we won't be like them. We'll be like, oh my god. Right. I had such a wonderful time at the Precinct Awards. First of all, I didn't know I was nominated for a long time. I didn't even know the awards were a thing until basically I showed up. I was so excited just to be included. It feels so good to be included yes. in the LA scene. No one's and ever included you in anything positive. We got a lot of money from that bank. What thing? It was just fun to be with you and like people yeah. coming up and being like, I love your show. It was weird. Like they would come up to you and want to talk and they would just kind of wave at me, which I thought was strange. But I think it's because I looked so beautiful that day. You did look I was big bird. really pretty. I did Big Bird. Yeah. I was Big Bird. As always, Meatball is as gracious as a meatball. She won a thousand awards, so it didn't really matter yeah. that she used one of her acceptance speeches to do this. But when she beat me for the award that I, I lost publicly, she spent most of it thinking or saying that I should have won it. And it was one of the funniest numbers they've ever had a fat slut. That I felt taller than well, taller than I normally am. It just made me feel so proud. Yeah. Nice? You deserve it. You're very talented. Well, not at performing, but it was no, nice to be nominated for such a stupid performance and to have Meatball recognize that. I just, I adore that. That, yeah. That meatball. And it was just nice seeing everybody. Again, just as a reminder, if you ever see us in the wild, please come talk to us. I love when people introduce themselves. Yeah. And if I don't remember your name, don't be weird about it. Instead, be like, oh, I don't know if you remember. I'm Tommy, by the way. Let's do a roll call. That's cute. Let's do a role play. That's, okay. I'll be someone that's met you before and you don't remember my name. Okay, ready? Am I Joan of Arc or am I Darby? You're Darby. Okay. You're Darby of Arc. Okay. I'm gonna show you how you shouldn't do it. Okay, okay, ready? okay. Oh my God, Darby, hi. Hi, I love your accent. What's your name? Oh, we've met before. <laughs> this one. You don't remember? No. What's your name? Sidetrack. Well, now I definitely don't remember. Listen, <laughs> I was going through a lot at that point. I was binge drinking, and it's not good. Oh my god, I'm you're still feeling so the funny. Don't touch my hair. <laughs> Scene. Yeah. That's what you shouldn't do. Now let's do what you should do. Okay. Oh my god, I love your show so much. You're Darby, right? I am. What's your name? Oh, Alexis. Ugh, you I might don't not love that. You might not remember, but we met before. I saw your performance of Tequila, and it was so funny. Was that real Tequila? <gasps> okay, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Okay. No. <gasps> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Do you want to get a, a quick picture? Yeah. Let's use your phone. Oh. Okay. All right, don't forget to hashtag IMHO, hashtag love is love, hashtag love wins. Where's the other one? I love her. She's so funny. Oh, Chan. She's in Chicago. Chan has such a beautiful life now with Peter, and she's performing so much now, and I'm just so proud of her. Yeah. What about Alexis? Where, where's Alexis? I don't know. Jail? And scene. scene. That was good. I have some notes. Yeah. Okay. Well, we don't have time. We have to get into this. We but... do have to get into this. We Ooh. are back this week with another double packed episode. So we are going to be talking about two franchises, two episodes, two, two people. Yeah. Two nights. So exciting. Here so we go. What's, what's up first? Do you want to switch up the order? I think we've been doing UK first, but I'm down to do US first. Let's do US first. Oh my God. It was their library and their snatch game. Oh God. Okay. I do like that they put the library and the snatch game at the same time because it's kind of the same energy, but as a reviewer, I hate it. Yeah, I did LOL during this library. I did too. Should we go back into it? I think with both the library and the snatch game, there were hilarious moments. Yeah. Overall, it felt kind of safe. 
Which again, I've yeah. said before, I do appreciate when they edit out some of the bad stuff because I do think that that's kind of shitty. But I'm also getting kind of bored. I'll send them an email, don't worry about it. I think it. it's also just, we've now seen this format so many times. Yeah, we've but it feels, doesn't it feel brand new each time? No. Doesn't it feel brand new each time? Everyone did great except for Maya, which was very funny. Yeah, it was a good everyone setup did, for the remainder great. of the episode. I love when Tsunami just looked at Plasma and went, Plasma. Where were you January 6th? And then, and then Morphine I love... had no idea what that meant. She's like, what was January 6th? And Plasma knew exactly what was January 6th. So and she answered kind of a little proving, too quickly. Kind of proving her, but no, we don't She's believe that about you, Plasma. She's a little too confident. We don't believe that about you, Plasma. That's a funny joke, though. It's one of my favorite... I gotta be honest, it's one of my favorite things to come out of the insurrection. <laughs> there are a lot of good stuff, a lot of good moments, but that one's one of my favorites. My, it's a good joke. Yeah. Don did to Nivea, knock knock, who's there, banana, knock knock, who's there, banana. And then she's like, that's what it's like talking to you. That was very <laughs> funny. That, that was that really good. That made me LOL. Don made me LOL like a lot, a lot. I in, thought in Don the, did In great. the reading, yeah. I loved when Safira said to Tsunami, I'm a Libra, she's a Cancer, to the drag community. <laughs> That's funny. Tsunami did surprisingly well. Like Tsunami she, did really sorry well. Sorry to say surprisingly. Did Q, but do you remember what Q said? Because I feel like Q made me laugh. No. I do remember that Dawn said to Tsunami, what a bold name for someone who hasn't made waves in the competition. <laughs> that killed me. Because it's true. It is. Yeah. She has been safe the entire time. So when she performs like that, it's a surprise. It's a good surprise. It was, yeah. it was a happy surprise. So Tsunami won and good. So, yes. Yeah. You're thrilled. I'm so sorry. That was too Tsunami. <laughs> we get to do the Snatch Game, and of course we get like to see who the girls are gonna do. <coughs> do you hear that? Yeah. I'm turning to you. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite things was when Dawn was talking about she's gonna do Meghan McCain, and she was just like, cause like she's someone I don't respect. She's an idiot. She's a trash person. What did she call her? She calls her a trash goblin? A trash goblin. <laughs> I love that. Haven't they had her on the show? Hasn't she been on Drag Race? I don't know if she's been on Drag Race, but I know a bunch of the queens went on her show. Because uh, I think she likes drag queens. I don't know. Her being her is enough for me. I don't, I don't need to do a show with her. Yeah. I mean, not that she asked, but the other really disappointing thing, and it's okay. It's okay in yeah. the grand scheme of things. But when Plasma said, I'm doing Patti Lapone," and that room went silent. She's such a queer icon. She's so fucking great and also really mean. She's wonderful. I'm obsessed Listen, with her. I want to go in her basement. That's not a weird thing. Google it. She has a basement too? Barbara has the basement mall. You don't remember? Well, no, she has an actual basement. She doesn't have a town. But you don't remember at the beginning of pandemic, she would do tours of her basement because it's like got oh. all her toys and shit. Not adult toys, like just big ones. She, I'm so sorry. I have to be honest. I have to be honest. I woke up very early today. I meant to go on a walk today and do walk, but I just scrolled. I gotta be honest with you too. If you're being vulnerable, I wanna be vulnerable. I woke up at about 10 a.m. <laughs> God, I slept well. Yeah. I woke up so refreshed. I kind of bounded out of bed. It was just, I slept so well. Yeah. And I watched Drag Race for a couple hours. My you husband know, you sent me an interesting, me wiener. You what? sent me an interesting text today. What'd I say? Shall I read it? Wait, what did I say? I got this from Darby. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you're gonna do this. Today, 4.51 p.m. <laughs> I stepped on my cum rag. I should be in jail. Listen, texting your friends is supposed to be a safe space. And when I step on the cum rag, there's only you that I can text about it. Oh, because that if makes I text, me feel Because if I text happy. Curtis, he'll get horny. And he's at yeah. work. What's he gonna do with that? Put it in some bread? If I text Michael, He'd probably get horny too. And I can't text my brother. He'll get horny. So I just have you. But thank you for sharing it with the world. My response is everything we should, went well. My response is we should make cum rags and with sell your them face on drag on queen merch. It says, doesn't have to be my face. No, it should be. And it should say, paint me boys. Come. Paint me like one of your French girls. Oh, is that what she meant when she said that? Yeah, she wanted to bukkake. Chad Michaels shows up as Cher. Fun. Oh, good to see her. Good to see mm -hmm. her. Always good to see a Cher. Respect her, you know. Yeah. Respect her Cher. Sad they didn't do a Chad Michaels Maya 
Cher off. What? What do you Remember mean? Remember Maya Iman's impression of Cher? Oh. Like, what a... <laughs> that would be funny. They should have made. They should have done a her. share off. Yeah. Fuck, that sucks. Also, really quickly, the snatch game was super short. And Thank God. usually that's something I wouldn't complain about. But did you notice that like some people we saw once? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw everyone in their little opening. And then for the most part, everyone only got one or two responses. You know what little opening I liked? When that whenever they have pit crew as the oh, other people and they have the opening in the podium so you can see their I've never seen the far left one before. Who was Me that? Neither. I He's don't know. a what do you say he was? He uh, was a thing. He had a job. I wasn't listening to him. Oh. Up first, <laughs> we had Q as Amelia Earhart. And I okay. love the idea. I do love the idea. I do love the idea. We live so close to a bunch of Amelia Earhart statues, so I feel like we know a lot about her story. <laughs> I work right near one. And don't dox yourself. Did I get a whole lot of Amelia Earhart being like a crazy kooky character? Not really. Oh, I thought it was fine. I thought it, it was, was fine. Safe. It was fine. I'll tell it you what. Safe. I'll tell you what. I loved Q's makeup as Amelia Earhart. I think Q has one of the best paints and one of the best faces you know for drag. Do you know why you liked it so much? Because she was wearing a wig. She never wears a wig on the runway. No, I like the paint. I like the blush. No, I know, but I'm saying I think her makeup looked even better because she had hair. Yeah. I think she needs to start doing hair. I mean, fuck me in my drag, whatever. But I would love to see her in more hair because hers, the Baroness. And I know, I saw the comments. The Baroness was a Nazi. My bad. I thought she was fine. It was fine. Yeah, yeah. Then we had Tsunami as the gold tooth fairy. They didn't ever talk about it on the show, but Shea Coulee did the gold tooth fairy on the runway. Remember? <laughs> Oh, yes. I feel like she was paying homage to it. Yeah. Was there a reason they didn't say that on the show? Or maybe, did I miss it? I don't think they did. No, because they were like, oh, you just made something up. But she didn't actually say like, oh no, Shay did the character. Or was oh. that just happenstance? I don't know, but bummer. What a bummer. There, were, there just weren't any jokes. No. And that's a tough, because she looked incredible. She looked like a tooth fairy, and I've seen my fair share. To come off the reading challenge being so great, and then to go into this being so the opposite of great, it was a bummer. Yeah. The, oh we God, have speaking Nymph of. <laughs> Nymphia Wind as Jane Goodall looked incredible. She picked again. that because banana, right? Well, I also think she picked that. Because banana. Yeah. Well, again, like we only saw her a couple times, but I was waiting to see what the twist would be. I feel yeah. like when you do a character like that, like an older person, they don't really have any defining qualities. You have to just make her horny. You have, literally though, that's what makes Rue laugh. You have to make her horny and fart. Don't fart in front of Michelle, but make her horny and fart and Rue will love it. Then we had Dawn as Megan McCain. We only saw her opening line and one Which was response. Funny. Yeah. And she was, Great. She was good. Actually, one of my favorite things to do on Friday, because I don't have cable TV, unfortunately. I'm just, I'm in a bad spot right now. I don't watch Drag Race until the next day, typically, or a couple days. And I will just DM Dawn's boyfriend. He's so nice on the internet. I'll just be like, will you ruin it for me before I get it ruined by someone's like blurry screenshot. All I'm asking for truly is just who won and who got kicked off. Bitch, this time, he sent me, I have to show you this. <gasps> so much. I We can't have all the content, love but it. I wanna see it. AJ, I love you. It's my, I think this is my favorite part mm. about Drag Race now, is that I just get to hear what AJ thinks. But AJ called Dawn's Megan McCain. Dawn is a lovely low safe, but had a good time. Oh. Is that not the most romantic thing you've ever heard? Ugh. That bones me up. Lovely. That's so nice. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful, precious. That's poetry. Then we had Safira as James Brown. Okay, now this was funny. So good. So good. Not surprised. Not at surprised. All. She's incredible. And also just the way that she was able to volley back and forth as James Brown. Incredible. That's a good snatch game. I'm gonna speak out of I'm just gonna say this out loud. And y'all will tell me in the comments if I'm wrong, because you I'm, love doing it. I know that. exactly what she's gonna say, so I'm gonna say it along with her. I think, I think that, that one, one person, person unlocked, unlocked male, male characters, characters in and snatch game. Snatch game and that person is you don't know. 
Kennedy, Kennedy Davenport, Davenport as anyway, Little was Richard. I of my tea. I, I just feel like it was never really a thing that people did. Well, it was frowned upon. Do you yes. remember when Milk was RuPaul on, on the, the runway, runway and like and other people brilliant. were stuff? Yeah, it was really it was good. so good. And other people would try to, like, Alaska tried to do a boy character and boy drag. And they were like, no, no, they no. They were no. like, no, no, no. So it was like very much frowned upon. It was a different time. Until Katie Adi. Yeah, yeah I, I just, I feel like ever since Little Richard was so good, <laughs> and I use the word man, you know, selectively, I think Little Richard went beyond gender. Little Richard was Little Richard. I really appreciate it because these characters are great, and I love that she got to do James Brown. I'm so sorry. One thing I forgot to mention, it'll make sense why I thought it. After Meatball, the award that she won and I lost, then the host, Tony Soto, got back on stage and was like trying to rib me because that's what Tony does as a host. I was like, come on, bring it on, I'm ready. And she just keeps calling me my old name. She just <laughs> keeps, to the point that people in the crowd were like, yeah, Darby. But the whole audience was like correct. They were like, Darby. Her. And she's like, what? And then I screamed, it was a different time. <laughs> She did DM me the next day and just said, I'm so sorry I dead named you girl. And I was ah! like, you did See, I fine. thought she did it on purpose. No, I think she'd had too many of those Mexican candy drinks. There was a drink called Mexican candy that won a pre -sale. It won an award. Yeah. So did Chicken Tenders for all you Chicken Tender fans. I really wanted some Chicken Tenders. Me too. Me too. We really should have got some. I'm glad we did Taco Bell. What did you think of the crispinata? It was fine. Fine. Yeah. That's what I said. I dropped it on the floor. Oh, did you not eat it? No, I still ate it. Oh, I just okay. dropped it on the floor. Okay, my bad. I thought it was fine. Sorry, Taco yeah. Bell. Thanks for being a patron of Taco Bell. No, I, I, would, I would eat it. It was it. fine. I would again. I would oh, I would eat it, it for free, for sure. You know they have that one in Irvine where they test out all the, like they <gasps> tested out the Bla the Baja Blast gelato. I want to go there. You sit in the little booth and then the thing comes up and they slide it through and they film you eating it. Excuse me? Have you never watched the video from it? No. So you sit at like a counter, but there's dividers between you and the other people. So they can't see you, you can't see them. And there's just a metal door, You're describing a window. The perfect Taco Bell experience. And then it'll just open just enough to get the food through. They put the food through and then you eat it. When you were in and elementary school and when you were naughty, did they put that big cardboard thing on your desk? Yes. Sorry, I thought you were about to say on your head, and I no, was no, like, no. "What the? Fuck, it was like Texas? a big. Okay. It was like a okay. big box that yeah. they set on top of. But your not desk. a box. Not a box. A trifold. A trifold. It did not have a top. Ours had tops. What? They put you in a box? No way. No. But it didn't have a bottom, so you could use desk or a back. It would go like over, so you couldn't see. You had a the... top? Wait, did I have a top? No way. Because then, how would you see? It would be so dark in there. That's cruel and unusual, and I don't say that freely don't about know, kids. But I kind of, I kind of loved it. Well, did you ever get one? Um, I never got one. I never got in trouble. No, I, I never, I never really got one. I'll put you in a box if you want to feel it sometime. Then we had plasma as Patty Lapone. I thought she did a good job. Great. It was the perfect because sometimes what people fall into, a trap people fall into. Uh oh, a Patty Lapone trap is using too much information. She did a little mm -hmm. information and added a joke. She's very good at what she does, that plasma. Bitch, and I, I didn't agree. wanna like Bitch, it, I agree. but I like it. I like her. I, I really like her. She's an incredible I'm, drag queen. And she's I don't, really good at this. I don't, I you didn't see that and assume love her. it's gonna be the bad version yes. of that, but it's the it's good, good version. It's good, yeah. it's good. No, she's really doing well. She's great. She's so fucking annoying that I thought, like, there's no way I'm gonna be cheering for her. And now, Maybe I'm cheering. Yeah, I'm happy to. I'm, I'm so happy, happy to be for a. Her. I'm happy to be a plasma. Uh, I'm happy for her to donate her plasma to me every week. We have Morphine Love John as Anna Dalve. Did you ever watch Inventing Anna? I tried. Yeah, it was but a, when it was I a heard bit the accent, slog. I couldn't do it. Well, the accent was incredible. Funny. <laughs> it was so incredible. You burped. <laughs> Jesus. Christ. Right. She wasn't funny, but Mark. it's fine. Maya on the page as Shaquita. She made up a character. Now there has been a lot funny. of hubbub online about making up. Why are they making up characters? Why are they letting them make up characters? Who I'm cares? sick of this. Who cares? Well, because she referenced an actual celebrity. She was Trina's cousin. We know who Trina is, and now we have that reference. So it's not totally random. Yeah. I liked it. She and did a good I was job. So she did a impressed. really good job for, you know. For being Maya. During the judging, I felt so proud of her as well. Because Rue's like, I am so 
proud of you. Oh. And I felt the same way. I yeah. was so happy for That's her. That's happy. And then finally, we had Plain Jane as Jelena Karluska. Jelena Karluska, which is a Serbian pop icon. Lady Gaga version, their version. She killed it. There wasn't she a did good. sing. She did great. Everything she said made me laugh. She was Everything very she said made me laugh. And I scream laughed at one point. Curtis came out of the kitchen and goes, what are you watching? And I was like, this fucking mean bitch be hilarious. <laughs> oh, I forgot she's mean. And that's she's so why mean. you like her. Because you love being mean. Yeah, she called, what she called morphine an ugly man. <laughs> That's funny. My favorite though was when she's like, I'm a BBW. Rue goes, what does that stand for? And she goes, beautiful Balkan war survivor. <laughs> That's so funny. And you could see her thinking it, like thinking through it, like, oh, what does it mean? Bitch. Yeah, that was funny. I'm so, listen, she's great. She's really good. Then the runway was Dancing Queens. Oh, I think this is a fun prompt. I think it's a really cute prompt. Yeah. We have Q as a robot. Again, no wig. What do you think about that? I don't like it. I recognize that it's quality and I like the details. Yes. But I don't like any of the colors together or the shapes. I would want a more, as the rest of the girls seem to do, I would want a more literal interpretation. I'm sorry. Or, like I would want silver or gold. This doesn't say robot to me. This says Starlight Express, which I do yes. like. Which is more roller skating than dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I were to ever get on Drag Race. And I you had, will. And I had to, that's a, don't be mean. And I had to do a robot look. I would get Bob the Drag Queen's robot look and I would have someone like embellish it to the beyond. I would want to reference Bob's robot look. Cause to me, when I think of robot drag race, I immediately go to Bob Amazon robot. You know, who I, you know what I would do? Uh oh. I would do a box. Rosie from the Jetsons. I've always thought of you as her, only you're broken because you don't you. clean. Thank you. Up next, we had Tsunami. Tsunami Muse. Oh she God. was a beautiful dancing queen. She's so fucking gorgeous. Yeah, that was, this was gorgeous and she did so I good. I loved watching everyone dance too on the runway, which like obviously you have to if it's dancing. Even Q's robot was bad, which just oh, makes she me love her more. I know, it just made me laugh. Yeah. It made me laugh. Then we had Nymphia. Oh my God, this was incredible. I don't remember what it's called. Basically, it was a Japanese dance that was supposed to be the opposite of ballet. It was supposed yeah. to be more and they, like, about really the facial the features. Face. This was art. This was high art. This was art. She This was art. Is... This saved her, I think, from the bottom two. I'm gonna yeah, be honest. Yeah, although... I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. Then we had Plain Jane Plain doing... Plain Jane, she was Latin dance, or ballroom dance. No, she was no, ballroom dance. No, she was Latin dance. She was Latin dance. Because she used to do it. I thought she looked great. I thought she looked really pretty. She is gorgeous. Then we had... Morphine. Oh, she looked beautiful. I do feel like we've seen that, like, we've seen her wear something similar to this in her talent show. Yeah, it's the same issue that I keep saying over and over and over, that she looks gorgeous. She looks absolutely gorgeous. The face is I am not surprised by anything that she brings out. I've had two weeks where I was, and now I'm just like, we're back to, okay, but yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. But okay, gorgeous, okay? Dawn was polka, and I love this. Loved it. I loved it. I thought she looked adorable. Adorable. I love a twirly skirt. Twirl, twirl, twirl. Made me think of Midsommar. I still you haven't still haven't. I want to watch. because I want, I well, like you have when to wait for fall. Midsummer now. Oh yeah, it wouldn't make sense to me now. Yeah. It was warmer today in Chicago than it was here in LA. And that is on on global That's warming. That's fucked. Listen, usually I'm a fan of global warming. I think it does some hilarious stuff. But making it warm in Chicago and cold in LA, global warming, Rude. I think you're doing too much. Yeah. Hurricane, please. Then we had plasma. Tap dance, so adorable. I think this was a reference from White Christmas. It was cute. I thought it was really cute. I would have wanted to do tap. What would you have done? What kind of dance would you have done? Jazz square. <laughs> I would, <laughs> listen, come I would come out, no bitch, I would come out in a giant square, square, like a giant box, and I would just slowly make my way down the runway while doing a jazz square. Just <laughs> every jazz square took me slightly further up, and then when I get to the end of the runway, I'm stuck. I can't figure out how to go sideways in a jazz square. So I just kind of sit there for a while going. Oh, okay. maybe I would do Charleston. Flapper. Oh, that's cute. But instead of like normal fringe, I would do like flaps of some sort. 
flaps. Then we had <laughs> Maya as 90s girl groups. Yeah. And that was cute. I, 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 she's not, her runways aren't anything that excite me. And it's always like this kind of hair. But she did so good. And she did do so good. She did and do so, so she good. did deserve her flowers, absolutely, because she is really coming to life on the show and I love it. Oh but my I God, when she was, was earlier in the, in the beginning of the episode, when she was erasing the mirror message, she was lit up. She lit. came to life. Yeah. And it was so nice to see her just like kind of being more comfortable I think that's with everyone. why Rue's comment of, I'm so proud of you. I can really see you taking the notes. Like, I think I was like going, yes, yes, because I'm, I don't, you feel proud of her? I'm just so proud. I mean, until I saw it. Happy this, for this isn't for me. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Then we had Safira as the drag you majorette. Yeah. That is so funny. This woman is so smart, and I would not be surprised if Drag U gets resurrected and she is involved. Solely because of her. Yeah. Me and Ginger Minj will never be on it. But I do love that she keeps wearing the same character shoes. Remember in the Snatch Game when <laughs> oh, yeah. RuPaul was like, James yeah. Brown, you keep wearing the same character shoes. And he's like, I don't keep wearing the same character. I'm James Brown. These are my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> And then she wears them on the runway. And some judge said, like, I think my favorite thing about your runways is just seeing how you're going to cover up those character shoes. No, It's funny. funny. It's, it's funny. funny. She also had a really heartwarming trauma talk. What was her trauma? I'm sorry. I forgot. Her daddy said, okay, no, no, no. She said, okay. Her dad said, no, no, no. She said, okay, bye. And then later he came back oh, and show. said, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. Hi, this is yeah. fun. And she said, this is great. And then COVID. Yeah. And then bye bye. It took some it took some of the good ones. It took a lot of bad ones. Could have taken a few more bad, I gotta be honest. I don't know how my I dad don't wish a lot of people he's so but weak. I, and he's he doesn't so care weak. about No. He doesn't do mask. Freedom? No. no. So we find out mm. plane wins. Congratulations. I don't think that was a surprise to no. anyone. The bottom two are more. I thought, I thought and... Safira might win. Yeah, I think she could have won, but plain, I'm sorry. Plain made me laugh. Plain made yeah. me laugh. Our bottom two are morphine and tsunami. Nymphia was saved by the skin of her teeth, by the, I'm sorry, by the peel of her banana. We get an incredible lip sync oh, to yeah, I Wanna, I wanna dance, dance With, with somebody. somebody. Now, huh, I've got trivia. Oh, I've got trivia. I've got trivia. It came from TikTok, so it's real. Okay, okay, okay. Tell, tell it to me and I'll guess. I'll, I'll do the trivia. What? Do, do, ask me and I'll, I'll, I'll. No, no, is no. It a it's question? not a trivia question. It's trivia. Oh, it's just a tidbit? It's just the trivia. It's just a tidbit. You know, like, they have to add question to trivia to make trivia mean question, right? I feel like trivia is question. No. So I have a bit of trivia. When Whitney Houston recorded I Want to Dance with Somebody, she did it on tape, you know, because it was back then. They have tape. Okay, they don't have digital. And... Apparently the takes were so incredible. If there was like an issue with the sound, they were hoping to fix it themselves because she sounded so great. Well, oopsie daisy. When they were recording her, they had this setting on to lessen the S sound, but they had it turned up too high. So there were no S's in any of the takes. Oh, so the- Oh, I wanna dance with body. Yes. So the editor guy who was working on it, he went back and recorded S's and put his S's in there. So the version you listen to is Whitney Houston, except for the S. What? Oh, I want to dance with Umbody. That's Whitney Houston. And then tss, tss, that sound guy. Isn't that incredible? I love trivia. What else are they not telling us? 9-11. It was an outside job, I gotta be honest. Well, the, was the plane was outside yeah, and then inside. it was inside. Yeah, absolutely. That's the whole problem with the whole thing is because yeah. they tried to they put, tried a plane to put inside. it in the inside. So we get this really sweet lip sync and they kiss at one point, which I love. That was oh, so cute. Yeah. But unfortunately, they send Tsunami home. Yes. I'm not surprised. She's just been safe the whole time, which is great. She's beautiful, but, but there wasn't, wasn't a mark more. made. It, wasn't, it yeah. wasn't her time yet, I don't think. So they wave her off. What? What does that mean? Tsunami. Wave. Oh, a wave. Okay, I'm sorry. I was imagining a wave coming at you and you being like, mm-mm. 
so that was the end of that episode. Let's move into UK versus the world. Yes, 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 yes. Now this category was reveal yourself, which uh, we're getting a lot of reveals. Reveals, reveals, I don't reveals. always love, but I thought this was a really nice runway. Oh yeah, everyone looked great. It was fun. It made it me exciting. laugh. Yeah. So let's start with the one that made me laugh the most. Ugh, the Grand Dame. She was Miss France. She got nervous when she got to the end of the runway and she pissed herself. Now, do you think it was sponge titties? Because I did see her kind of like, and that's what the She was squeezing. Tea. Yeah. I think she was like, and oh, I got pee. a pee, but she's pushing. That's so fun. It was a bummer that it was on white and it was under those bright lights. So as a TV viewer, I couldn't really see it. I knew what was happening because I could see a little bit of it. That was the only note I had was that it was just hard to see. But the fact that her reveal was piss... As Very a beauty queen, funny. funny. La piscine. Oh, ha, ha, ha. oh yeah, we didn't even that just say. Means pool. We didn't even say. I'm Joan of Arc because that's the Snatch Game character I want to do. I want to do Joan of Arc. And I ha, ha, ha. am myself because I'm just at home watching her Snatch Game. And I thank you for staying there. Yeah. Then we had Theresa May as Marge Simpson, and I. Loved it. Adorable. Do so you know fun. what this is from? Quirky. Yeah, so this is from the episode where Marge turns into Legally Blonde Malibu Barbie. Stacy. Malibu Stacy. Oh, you're making it up. Okay. And she... She gets a dress. Enters a, she, oh, she gets a dress. She gets... Well, she gets this suit or a dress or a suit. I don't know. She oh, gets, does she keep going back and say... Like, t t returning in, getting it again? You, I have an idea. Why don't you let me say it and then you can react to it? Okay, I think okay. I can do that. So she gets a dress or something on sale, and she's trying to make it into this country club and look a lot more expensive than she actually is. And she gets so many compliments that she decides, well, I have to wear something nice again, but she can't afford anything else. So the entire episode, she keeps sewing the same dress into different dresses and suits and looks. So that's what Teresa was doing. She had that, then she sewed it into that. March does not end up getting naked and showing her bush. I would, I would like it, but I thought it was so funny. I have seen that episode. You have? Yeah! It's one of Marge's most famous. Listen, not having money so you, you can't look good at a country club, that's funny. Who does that? Have you ever been to a country club? All the time. My dad was a part of one and it no, was it was I annoying. Haven't. Really? My dad was a part of one, yeah. And actually my first job, I was like golf cart person. I think you'd be so good at that. It was actually kind of fun because you drive around the golf carts but they make you get out. You take the flags down every night. Ugh. So when the golfers are still golfing, they're really mad at you because you like take the flag before they can get to the hole. And it's like, shut up. It's almost like over. Also, the best part was driving the cage at the um, driving range. When people hit you with and balls. And people try to hit you with balls. But I wish this I was before this was before iPads, iPods or anything. So it was really boring. No iPads. I was Sorry, kids. A lot, of, a lot of playing solitaire in the caddy shack and the itchiest polo shirts. To this day, I won't wear a polo shirt because they're so fucking itchy and disgusting. I think you'd look bad in one. Yeah, and I did. Then we had Tia Coffee doing a nod to Rue, which I thought was great. My issue was you could see every reveal coming and they were kind of, except for the last look, kind of clunky. Am I being too, am I being mean? Like she came out- I don't out, think you're being mean. I think you're just noticing what, what everyone else noticed. Oh, thank you. Well, she came out in like that first look, which was so cool, but she didn't go anywhere with it. Like we couldn't really see it. And I hate when they do the immediate rip off. Something tells me it didn't move well or it was gonna fall off. So well, she was just like, let just me get out. Well, you could just see the next one underneath it And she was holding it. So I think it wasn't connected. So that's yeah. why she went out and was like. The orange look was again, cool, but so clearly a rip away. And then the final look was gorgeous. Here's my issue. Listen, you don't have to do what I say, Tia. Thank you for being a patron. I wish she would wear a corset. I think she's in this, which I have been too, this like, well, I'm tall and skinny and that's enough. And usually it is, but I saw her release her version of the final look next to Rue's version. And Rue is all corseted up and she has a body. It just makes the clothes look that much more intriguing and interesting. And I just, I don't know, I would just like her to, I mean, it's your body, do what you want. But I would love her to lean into, what would it look like if she had a body? Yeah. Marina Summers, this was really beautiful. She did a volcano. This blew my mind. And it was like, 
burst of lava, burst of lava, I burst loved of it. lava, it was and then all lava. So dramatic. This was really cool and because it there was are, my favorite. yeah. The first look blew me away. The second look blew me further away. Thank God there wasn't a third look. I had nowhere else to go. Yeah. Then we had Kate Minaj. Now, <laughs> I loved the pulling away a big, big tie to reveal, reveal a little, little, little tie. Hilarious. Hilarious. But the problem is there's so much else going on in the outfit with her head kind of floating. No one's paying attention to that. And it honestly... I didn't see it. Yeah. Yeah. It was honestly... She it. If she wanted to do that and really sell it, I wish she had done it like three or four times. Every time she goes to reveal something and boom, she comes back and takes another tie off. I like the idea. That's funny. I think there's a girl that does it in Fire Island. I don't know her name, forgive me, but she just, her whole thing is she only reveals the same dress every single time. That's funny. And I think that's funny. Then we had Hannah Conda. Now, I want to say, I love both looks. She looks gorge in both looks, but what the fuck? What? Well, because you... They're not related. Darby. I get it. She's saying, like, the Pope is one of us. He's a showgirl. Then make your outfit, like, This is the crosses, most... Uh, no, Or no. have, like, red and gold. I'm sorry to disagree with you, It should be red and gold. Sister. It doesn't make sense. I'm sorry to disagree with what you. What does the green mean to you? Obviously, it means that the Pope is one of the lizard people. The Pope is a lizard person. Because when you take away the robes and all the hats, green scaly, green scales. Lizards love gold cities. Okay? Alexis. Yeah. I need to tell you this from the bottom of my heart. I can hear it. I need you to know. I feel it. I'm sorry. Yeah. You are right. Thank you. I see it. You I see, see it, it, right? My, yes. We should kill the Pope. I, I don't have the money for the plane. It's not jo Joan of Arc's thing. She didn't like the Pope. <laughs> Or did she listen, like the Pope? Listen, I know so much about her. I'm so glad you asked. Yeah. So Joan was, she was a people pleaser. Joan. Okay? Women are often taught to people please and it's, it's wrong. It's something in our society we need to break. That's the, that's the difference though. You've got to people please, not Pope will please. And she didn't know that. So yeah, she led an army and she killed a few people. And then they were like, we should burn her. She led you an know, army? She, yeah. No, she didn't. Yes, she, she drove did. the boat. What are you talking about? Joan of Arc. I'm she so, was... That makes me so mad. That makes me so mad. Ooh, ooh. Why am I mad? <laughs> I hated that. The lizard was so funny. I hated that. She was Noah's wife. Oh my God. <laughs> was she? <sighs> and that's why the flood came to put that fire out when she was on the stake. <laughs> The flood was a result of God trying to put the fire out. <laughs> he just did too much. He did too much. Listen. She is a diva. But now we have rainbows. She is a diva. Okay, we have to move on. I'm, I feel like I'm going to fall over. <laughs> okay. Then we had Jomber's Blonde. I hated the first look. Oh, wait. I, like, I want to look at the look. first look again. Because it's, it's something I feel like I would like. It's in the distance. She took it off almost immediately. Yeah. She which, took looking it off at it, I can see because there's some gold hanging down. Yeah. The gold looks really pretty. Yeah, the she gold. She looks amazing. The gold was perfect. Okay, I but I want to know what you think of Gothi Kendall. I love her. Incredible. Okay. This is incredible. It's not just doll titties. It's the way that the... the fucking thing is formed on her bod. Yeah, I love the fucking thing being formed. I loved it. She, you know what she, she said? And her awkward movement kind of worked for this character. Yeah. Lean into it, babe. You can't walk, do this. I think she's the one that said, she was talking about cowboy something and she said, I'm ready to buckle up. Do you think cowboys, they don't wear seat belts, they just wear belt buckles and buckle up means wear your belt buckle. Do you think that's what cowboys think? I love belt buckles. Yeah. It's jewelry for your crotch. It's like basically... Jewelry for your crotch. It's basically yes. a cock ring for straight bros. 
Outside cock ring. I like that. Finally, we had Scarlet Envy in her reveal, which is that the inside of her coat was the same fabric as her dress. I kind of loved it. That's funny. I kind of loved sorry. it. It's funny. The only thing I didn't love was just how ugly I personally find this color and fabric because I was like, oh no, there's more of it. But maybe that was funnier. Maybe that made me yeah, laugh that even was more. Funny. I don't know. I think she looks crazy. I think this is an, I think her wig is insane. I think she looks insane, but it made me laugh. It did make me it laugh and it made me happy. So then we get to watch their drag world presentations. We start with Tia, Marina, and Kata, and they were basically doing, you're getting on Glamazonian Airways, and, and you're, you're flying from around. country to country, yeah. Yeah. and we're gonna talk to you about drag. Unfortunately, Kata was speaking her own language there. She didn't, it didn't make sense. How are you teaching drag by rolling around in paint? I don't know. I don't know, but drag is beautiful. Okay, anybody can do drag. And that pit crew member was pretty beautiful, Hot so it was fun fuck. to ro roll around with him. His great legs. I bet. And then we go over to Marina, and at least Marina starts the whole like, well, we're drag queens, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about drag. Yeah, it's still like learn to duck walk and learn to yeah. run away. Nah, yeah, Marina's was getting there. It was still just confusing. Like I didn't know what we were watching, and then we finally get to Tia, and Tia does. The kind challenge. of yes, she does what they kind of needed to be doing the entire time, where she's referencing all of her well-known moments on Drag Race, talking about how to like, I don't remember, avoid those or do better. I don't fuck know, yeah. but at least it made sense. So yeah. overall, the group was just kind of Tia one for that group. for that group. Yes, yeah. Our second group was La Grande Dame, Hannah, Hannah, Hannah. Anaconda and Jombers. Basically, what they did was they just had different parties in their country, sort of referencing drag, but really they were just like, if I'm there, I'm gonna do this. I, yeah. I, I didn't fully understand the concept. And I did laugh Dom at took, La Grande Dame. Yeah, she took. I'm sorry. Yeah, hers did make me laugh, but it was funny that she took all the time, and then the other two kind of had to like quickly get to there. Jombers made me confused, and I, I think Jombers was confused the entire time as well. But the one that made me laugh. Out loud, the one that truly I thought was going to be in the top was Hanaconda. Yeah, her scream laughing into those animals, her doing parkour and ending it by saying parkour, throwing the bird as it lands on the like. Hannah was so good. Yeah. She was the, my favorite out of everyone. She made me laugh. Yeah, me as well. But also. the concept wasn't great, so I understand that. Then the final one is. The other three. Scarlet, Teresa, and Gothy. Now, at least with this one, it made sense. It was like, yeah. all right, we start with the workroom, then we go to the main stage for a lip sync, and then we get untucked. Great. It did feel like Scarlet was doing everything. I do think that Scarlet did what I probably would do, which is she just kept taking the reins. Because I don't know if you noticed, she was in everyone else's scenes. No one was in her scene. Yeah. Love that. And that's... Love that. And that's Darby. And that's Darby, baby. It's it's narcissism, but you know, it's a coping mechanism. The top two are Tia and Scarlett. Not my pick. I definitely would have put Hannah, Hannah up there. Up there. But I get it. Yeah. The bottom two are Kata and Jombers. The bottom are Kata and Jombers. It's um, clear that Tia is gonna save Jombers. They have their UK alliance. To me, it just felt very like, Kata, just shake her hand and walk away. Yeah. But Scarlett, Scarlett was the wild card. I agree with her idea of possibly breaking up the UK alliance. The UK alliance. The controls. Yeah. Because first of all... It is UK versus the world. It is UK versus the world. Second of all, they've made it clear, rather maybe un, um, unsmartly. Unsmartly, yeah. <laughs> no, no, that's and great. they've made it clear that they're looking out for each other. So that's like, ding, 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 that's a threat. So we get a lip sync. Scarlett looked great. She was so good. Yeah. Tia's movements are just so stiff and awkward. Again, I say that as someone who suffers from the same condition. She did the best she could, but Scarlett easily won that. And yeah. she pulls out lipstick and she's sending home Jombers, which I understand. Yeah. I think we also saw all that Jombers had to offer. I yeah, I think Jombers has some fun looks and I think we'll see them on Instagram. But it's the Instagram. same hair. It's the same kind of vibe. I don't know. I feel like we've seen it. I'm happy that she got the opportunity to show that her drag's not gross. Yeah. But... Okay, that's the end of that. Next week, we get the Snatch Games. We're gonna do another Snatch Game, But baby. it's a Snatch Game family feud. Yeah, I'm excited to see what the fuck that means. Yeah. Darby, UK? Yeah. So if you enjoyed this, go... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. Can I see you back here? The viewers asked.
have come to expect for you to ask me if I'm UK as well. And if we don't do that, I feel like there's just gonna, they're gonna be really pissed. And I don't want that on you, okay? Can I see you back here? Mm -hmm. Sorry, they can hear us. Can I see you a little further back here? Yeah. Alexis. Yeah. I'm afraid that the sound guy is listening. Can, can I just see you back here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> ow, ow, fuck. Well, that was the end of the episode. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I'm UK. And she's UK. If you enjoyed this, hit the subscribe button and, of course, the notification bell. Join us on Patreon at patreon.com slash show. Also, we're both on Cameo. My Cameo is on. I'm having a root canal in two days. It's very expensive. Yes. Go ahead and head over to Cameo. Help me get my mouth together. And I'm going to leave my job soon. So order Cameos from me. You could also order Shamio from both of us. We did a full day of filming of Shamios the other day. Everyone waiting for Shamio. So they have coming. been filmed. They're coming. They're coming. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your patience. And um, don't forget, all of our merch is on dragqueenmerch.com. Okay, I know yeah. that you don't want to be involved in this, but okay. I need to tell you that I have watched all that are available of season two of The Traitors, and I am officially in, in on Traitors. I understand yeah. the appeal, and yeah. I'm so happy you're enjoying it. Curtis is also traitoring. Yeah. Which is so strange because he's not a reality TV person. Well, here's, here's, yeah, I understand. You don't like, it, it is crazy. We it watched, is like a crazy anxiety inducing because it is. I watched the last episode of season one with it him. It is. That was the only the game, episode I watched. It's a game of and mafia. And it gave me hives. It's a game of, of Can't do mafia. It. Right. However. Remember when we played mafia at Kim's house with Monet and how angry we got with Monet because Monet was so fucking good at it. And oh, she was yeah. always the mafia. I was that, so scared. My, I want a redo of that. My, my. I was too scared still to be involved. Why? Kim's dog shit everywhere. That kind of <laughs> put everyone in the same. Well, it was funny. It just it just started like, shitting everywhere. No, no, no. It was really funny. Okay, but what I love about Honest. season two, what I loved about season two, it was so fun seeing all these different people from different franchises and corners of reality TV together. Because you yeah. never would see, you never would see like, well, like Big Brother and Survivor with Real World versus Road Rules. Peppermint, Real World versus Road Rules. How dare you? I know this is old news. I'm sorry that I'm late to the game. How dare you, Trishelle? I will never forgive you. And when we're on the what traders, is she from? you better watch out. What's she's from? from the fucking challenges. She's not even from Real oh, World Road yeah. Rules. I think, I think she's just from the challenges, which. They need to bring road rules back. You guys, rules just back. bring I road loved, rules. Just I loved, I loved. Y'all missed road rules. Road rules was great. They would have to update it now because the whole thing about it was like no phones. And now like everything is phones. Oh. But. Maybe they could have little, um, you know, the old people, a jitter. Or no, maybe they don't have to. Maybe back, go back to life and see if new kids can see what it was like without a phone. <gasps> Use a map. Use a map. Why did I got, we got a map the other, oh. When my mother-in-law was here, when she moved in with us for that week, mm -hmm. she like literally went out and she bought a map, like bought a paper map. And she's like, I just want to see the layout of the city. Like this will just help me understand where I am and where the neighborhoods are. That's fun. It was fun. It was quite, I, I did notice a difference than just going on Google Maps because Google Maps, you have to manipulate it. You can't really just kind of zoom all the way out and really see things. It was, she had the right idea. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Diane. I'm gonna sneeze. No. <laughs> I'm sneezing. Okay, bye. You guys, bye. <laughs> you guys, bye. You guys, bye! You guys, bye!